All right, guys, what we're going to talk about today is intermittent fasting combined with carnivore. So this is something that's actually not covered very well on YouTube from what I've seen. All right, so what I classify as intermittent fasting is a daily fast of approximately eight hours minimum. Typically, you're going to see people try and push it to around six hours minimum. And then you have the people trying to do like the warrior diet or uh, even OMAD, which is four hour fasting window. All right, so all these are fine. You can do whatever window you want to do, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you're capable with, as long as you're able to hit your macros for the day. And now obviously on carnivore, we're eating nearly 100% animal products. So animal foods, meat, eggs, fish, cheese, dairy, all that stuff, right? So they're nutrient dense foods, they're calorically dense foods, but um, depending on your capacity for eating a huge quantity of food, some people can't really do OMAD on, inter uh, on uh, carnivore intermittent fasting. And in fact, OMAD's pretty hard to do no matter what diet you're eating. Even if you're eating processed foods, it's pretty hard to get your daily caloric intake unless your goal is to simply lose weight and you're not really focused on performance. But what this video is gonna be about is mainly about people who are focusing more on performance. They want to maintain muscle mass. They want to increase muscular strength. Um, basically the all around approach. Lose fat, gain strength, you know, everything that people typically wanna do, unless you're obese, right? So here are my observations. I've done all the research, I've done all the, stu the study, sifting through the internet, so you people who wanna come in here and always hassle me about studies, Dude, I've read the studies. <laughs> That's how I got to my conclusions and my theories, and then I'm doing uh, my own experimentation, okay? And then I'm giving my very scientifically minded uh, results, okay? Um, obviously, we're all different. We're all gonna have slightly different results than each other, but by and large, we are pretty much, we're pretty much the same. We are similar. I do believe there is still a species-specific diet. I believe carnivore is getting closer to that. Okay, and enough of that. Um, what I notice with carnivore intermittent fasting is the ability to maintain muscle mass and even improve performance while still being in a caloric deficit. So in other words, I'm losing fat and I'm gaining strength pretty effortlessly. I would say recently I've hit more of that plateau because I wasn't working out for a few months and then I basically started working out heavily uh, consistently again. And um, I gained really rapidly for about three months doing it this way. And for the past month or so I've been stagnated just a little bit and i think the reason for that is because i've been focusing more on fat loss uh, as i said before i've been focusing more on a cut so what i've been doing is i've been somewhat limiting my amount of calories for the day like we're talking instead of a pound of meat a day i've been going down to maybe 0.8 pounds so uh three quarter pounds of meat maybe roughly 300 grams per meal uh, i do two meals a day and then i also do about two cups of milk with each meal so it comes out to around 25 to 2800 calories a day. Um, I work out four to five days a week. And then I also have been walking every single day for the past two weeks, all fasted. I've been walking fasted. I've been making this video fasted. I work out fasted. Um, it took a little bit to adapt to, to doing everything fasted and going so late in the day. Right now it's uh, about 2 p.m. I feel okay. I'm ready to get my lunch on. I can tell you that much. But that's the thing about carnivore. That's where the magic is, I would say, in terms of carnivore combined with intermittent fasting. Um, it makes it easy to do intermittent fasting. Now, I've also been trying intermittent fast now for about six months. So maybe I'm just more fat adapted regardless of what I eat. And I can't, what I can say though, is that as I eat more carbohydrates, uh, let's say I eat carbs for dinner last night, which I did not do, but let's say I did. I would actually, um, be more hungry my next meal. So I would have a little bit more of like a carb craving, so to speak. I would have a little bit more of a hunger, uh, a hunger response the next day. Some days I go 2, 3 p.m. and I'm, I'm not even hungry. Like I have to almost force myself to eat. And this usually happens uh, the more days in a row consecutive that I go without consuming any overt carbohydrates. Like I said, I'm drinking milk, so there is some trace carbohydrates in the milk. But other than that, I'm really low carb and uh, what I have found is that I do need to carb refeed like every four days at a minimum, all right? This is just purely for muscular performance at that point. Um, I noticed that my workouts go, the perceived effort of my reps is just a little bit harder. Um, it's a little bit in less enjoyable to work out. 
I start to lose a little motivation mid-workout thinking, I don't know if this workout's worth it today. I might want to quit early. I don't want to injure myself. These thoughts start going through my head. But when I am carved up, uh, those do not go through my head. I, I finish very strong on every single workout. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'll say about carnivore pl- uh, combined with intermittent fasting. It's, it's not any magic, but it does make it easy to intermittent fast. And when you're consuming carbohydrates, like I said, you're going to have more of a, a blood glucose response. And when that insulin crashes, for whatever reason, um, might take you out of fat adaptation just that little bit. And it makes it just that much harder to uh, go many hours to your next meal. So it's just something to take into consideration when you're um, trying to prioritize which diet to go for on intermittent fasting. And what I would say is that it's easier to get your protein in as well. So between two meals, if you're eating a lot of carbohydrates or you're trying to do like a a balanced macro type of day, you know, let's say like 33, 33, 33, which I wouldn't recommend for health purposes anyways, based on what we know about uh, the insulin response with carbs and fat combined together, probably not optimal. However, that is very good for a anabolic response. So those are two separate things. Now, of course, when you eat any meal, we know you're going to get some sort of insulin response, not to worry about that. But if we're just talking like all out performance, yeah, you're probably going to want to have carbs um, maybe with every meal, even on intermittent fasting. But again, it's going to make it a little harder to go to your next meal. It's probably what you're going to notice. And the people that I've talked to regarding this, uh, they seem to have the same results. Now, what I'd say intermittent fasting is good for is body recomposition specifically. If you are going after the all out results, you probably don't want to employ an intermittent fasting technique. If... uh, you know, health is not the primary concern or anything else, and you just want max power, max weight gain, probably not gonna do intermittent fasting to begin with. Um, At that point, you probably try a primarily carnivore approach maybe, but that is not what this video is about. I'm still experimenting on the daily with all this stuff. And what I can say right now is um, I'm getting towards the very end of my leanness. I mean, there's not a whole lot left. So that's where I'm at. I don't really know the body fat percentage, but I'm trying to basically get down to where the lower abs are showing quite significantly. And then at that point, I'm going to start eating more because I want to get more size. I want to gain more muscle mass. And right now I'm just kind of stuck at 145. The, uh, The fat levels are slowly trickling off. The muscle is slowly going up. But what I really want is that huge performance boost because, um, I haven't gained a single pound of muscle or sorry, I haven't gained a single pound of weight over the past four months of working out. And I know that if I was uh, just going for a lean bulk or something like that, I probably would have put on close to 10, 15 pounds at this point. Um, I've seen what two meals a day, carnivore, intermittent fasting does when I'm focused on eating as many calories as I can. And it definitely puts the weight on, especially when I'm incorporating carb refeeds every few days. So if you have any more specific questions about that, hit me up in the comments. Again, this is all an experimentation. Whatever gets you the results, man. Have a results-based approach. That is what I advocate everybody to do, whether you're on vegan diet or carnivore, intermittent fasting, it doesn't matter. You need to go by what your body is telling you, the feedback your body is giving you. It's very, very important. So, all right, guys, peace.